This is a flyback I just bought uh, not too long ago. I just got it. You know, it kind of reminded me of how uh, those old AC flybacks look. Now, I would guess this actually isn't an AC flyback. I don't know. Maybe they jammed uh, the diode up in this little section here. Maybe some diodes. I'm not real sure. But, you know, it runs all right. You know, so I got it for like 18 bucks. It was like 20 bucks. So I figured, hey, that's not a bad deal. And it's updated it since I bought it. Now they're selling them for, uh, 60 damn dollars pretty interesting how that works you know i don't, I don't know why they did that so here's uh, about 24 volts And you can see I'm bringing it up to about 8 amps at uh, 24 volts, which is about, you know, it's about expected. Um, get that yellow flame by heating the uh, screwdriver up first. gonna temporarily put it at uh 30 volts what that does <laughs> oh and that's when it arced over yep so that's when it uh kicked it looks like luckily for me i do have another one coming that i bought at the cheap price so now I know not to really overdrive that <laughs> so here goes another little setup I've got uh various little inverter setup so like this guy right here was about uh 120 volt loads and i've tried other little inductor coils air coils things like that this setup right here is just sort of an example of just you know using the lc circuit so there's no induction uh, no isolation on the load i'm just basically running the load straight off the coil capacitive divider here with this one extra capacitor uh, because my load or is these three 300 watt halogen bulbs so this is almost a thousand watt load here and the three of these combined their filaments are damn near basically just like a fat dead short trying to run a load like that uh straight off the coil it's not really going to work uh, it's going to lock up the uh, circuit uh, but just throwing a little divider on there like that will get it to work but what's cool about that is you know normally just throwing that on a supply it's going to see it as a dead short immediately it's going to struggle real hard immediately so for example if i was to load this down on my uh supply right here directly it's going to just immediately pew, shoot up and then you know maybe if i was to sort of tap it over time to heat it up then it'll work its way up uh, a little safer but say instantaneous connection it's going to have that inrush of a dead short and then as the resistance goes up as, as normal the amps will drop down a little bit and it'll equal out um, in this case it's the opposite to whereas um, it takes a little time to, for that to heat up what is almost a dead short across this divider here uh, doesn't really work the zbs hard it only starts working harder as that resistance goes up uh, so take that load right here i've got it at uh 24 volts here and show the capacitor the uh, tank capacitor here it's only 33 nanofarad so that's a very small value the uh, running frequency on this is pretty high and uh so if i take that got one leg hooked to the ca uh, capacitor here one on one side of the coil, if I hook this one to the other one. See a sort of slow, see that slow rise. So that's kind of, that's cool. That's kind of what you're looking for to not kill a supply. It's sort of like a soft start almost. But... You know, that's not running them uh, full brightness or anything like that. It's getting them pretty damn bright. It's immediately uh, damn near burning my hand. <laughs> just holding it that close. Um, but that's just kind of cool because, you know, you're getting 
you know, at the very least double the voltage. So you're doubling your output more or less. So I can say if I was to run these directly from that 24 volts off the supply, they're going to be the certain brightness. And then running them off this uh, resonant LC circuit, they're going to be twice as bright at least. In this case, I'd say they're probably about twice as bright. So you pull about 6 amps. Which is not too much. See if I put it all the way up at 30. And still under about half an amp. Idle you could say. And that's probably going to shoot up close to 10 amps. Oh, yeah, and it kicked the uh, battery out on the supply. But those immediately. Let's turn it down a little bit. 27. Still kicks the battery out. Yeah, it really starts wanting to pull that juice. Maybe like 25. Yeah, those things whew, <clears throat> get bright. So that's sort of that right there, you know, running it like that. It's sort of a pretty good mix between your voltage and your amperage. And you get pretty good power that way. Don't have to really worry about transformer windings. So this high frequency air core inductor works out fine. And we've got a uh, very small capacitor value, which, you know, that I don't really feel any heat on that. Even this small. Uh, 100 nanofarad right here isn't really struggling too much but that's going to be a weak point there yeah the only heat is coming off them bulbs right there downside there with something like that is it's going to be straight ac it's going to be pretty hard to rectify that so here goes another setup this is the transformer so this is basically like a step down arrangement uh, but I've tried to make the conductors as thick as I could of what I had. So this is basically uh, paralleled up wires here. And I've got tripled up wires here. So that's about two turns. And, um, you know, kind of the, kind of the same thing. Uh, you know, if I wanted to run a load off the uh, primary here, then you know, I've got two voltages to choose from. Um, unless I put too much of a load directly on it, or I could just sort of run it with this divider here halfway. Or to get the step down, let's just say to get a higher voltage uh, than my input, or roughly about the same. Or with the step down here, get a very high amperage. So that was sort of the point with that. Right, so with that, this one at uh, 24 volts, uh, secondary here. got some pretty good current so I can take something like this guy right here it's gonna be pretty hot to hold but it's kind of go like that oh yeah that's getting too hot if I can get a connection where it starts drawing current like that oops yeah, it starts drawing that current. And you can see, obviously, you put a lot of amps through something. So, rather than use it for uh, induction heating, <laughs> you know, just uh, direct, a, uh, direct elect electrical connection to heat that sucker up. Ooh, that's hot. So with one more uh, turn removed, then you don't get the you know the voltages drop. You don't get as wicked of a spark, but uh, you still get some decent heating going on. I can touch that on there, right? So touch that on there. You know, it starts pulling it up about four amps. <clears throat> Immediately will start heating that sucker up. You know, so again, obviously. Uh, Get some decent amps out of a setup like that. Now that uh, toroid in there is going to heat up pretty quick. Uh, but that's pretty impressive, you know, just getting amps out of a little setup like that.
whereas there's no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to get that, you know, that screwdriver red hot like that directly off the supply. 